Yeah, welcome to the Vobatu Entertainment. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button, man. In today's video, I'm going to let you guys know why Javante Tank David don't have to call nobody out. He can, but why should he? I will let you know why in one minute. Yeah, like I said, welcome to the Rebuttal Entertainment. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tell a friend, tell a friend, the hottest podcast in the land. Now, there's a lot of hoopla about Tank Davis not calling people out, not saying I want to fight them, I want to fight him, I want to fight whoever. Why should he? Why should he? They all calling him out. They all calling him out. You know why. Why are they calling Javante Davis out because he's the cash cow. And you know Tank don't do too much talking. He don't do too much talking. Floyd already know he want, he wanted them fights. Leonard know he wanted them fights. You know what I mean? But he don't do too much talking. But why should he? When if you go look at everybody, they Tank Davis, Tank Davis, Tank Davis, Tank Davis. They know where the money lies. They know who's the cash cow. They know who put behinds in the seat. Is they going to show not Devin Haney? Is they going to show not Brian Garcia? Is they going to show not Lomachenko? So they know who it is. Well, then again, it could be Ryan Garcia because Ryan got a good following, man. <laughs> but let me tell you, man, he don't have to. He could. He can call out Devin. But I don't like people. This is my opinion. I just don't like when other fighters call each other out and don't send no contract. That's how you call a dude out. You want to call dudes out? Send a contract. You want to fight Javante Tank Davis? Send the contract. That's your calling out right there. Because the verbal calling out is just not going to go through. It's just going to go through deaf ears, man. It's just going to go through deaf ears. So, you know, a lot of people, a lot of podcasts, some podcasts make a hoobla about it, but should he? Um, he can call people out. Oh, yeah, I want to fight this guy. I want to fight that guy. So what are they going to make you guys feel if he's, okay, I want to fight Devin Haney. Okay, I want to fight uh, Lomachenko. He always said that he wanted to fight Lomachenko. Floyd should have man made that fight. He always said he wanted to fight Devin. He ain't got to keep calling people out every single day like some of these other clown boxers do. You know what I mean? If that's y'all cup of tea, that's y'all cup of tea. You know, a lot of fighters just don't do that. But, you know, they call him out. Because they know, they know who's the cash cow of boxing in the lightweight division, and maybe most of every division. They know if they fight him, they're gonna get a payday. They know if they fight Tank, they're gonna get a sold out crowd no matter where they're going. So, of course, I want to fight Tank because I want the biggest payday, I want the biggest audience, you know what I mean? And I want everybody to see me in the spotlight, and I'm gonna see it if I. They're going to see me if I fight Javante Tank Davis. Now, y'all want Tank to go up to people and say, yeah, man, I want to fight um, Ryan Garcia. We, they supposed to be made that fight. I'm calling them out. What did it solve if they don't send no contract? If they don't send no contract, what did it solve? It make y'all, it boosts you guys' ego? Oh, yeah, Tank, do, because Devin do the stupid stuff and can't whoop him. You know what I mean? Because a lot of these other fighters do that stupid stuff. You know what I mean? Calling these guys out and we'll have it solved. Benavidez has been calling Shallow out. We'll have it solved. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You want to call somebody out? Do what Showtime did. Do what Al Heyman did for Jamal Shallow to fight Jaime McGee. They ain't call him out. They send him a daggone contract. They send him a daggone contract. All this calling out stuff, it look good in the audience. It look good on TV. It make you feel big time and all this good stuff. But what is it solving? What is calling these people out solving? It's not solving nothing. Because just because you call somebody out, that don't mean you're going to get the fight. And you people know this stuff. It's not that hard, man. Let's say they all get together. Um, Tia Fimo, or Tia Fimo 40, um, uh, Devin Haney, Lomachenko, uh, who else? Ryan Garcia, you know, and whoever else at um, 135. 
they get all together and they all just start calling each other names out. <laughs> They're all in the audience just calling each other name out and Tank the only one just doing this. You want to know why? Because that's who name they're going to be calling out. That's who name they're going to be calling out. <laughs> Tomate Tank David, he's going to be right there. He's going to be right there beside them. So, I mean... It is what it is. You guys know this, but yet you all want to um, understand. You, you you want to make some kind of um, publication of things, make things go viral, and all this and that. You know what I mean with the call out. Oh yeah, he called them out. Oh, he's scared. He don't want to fight him. I've been calling them out for long, and long. Name one of these fighters, Jamonte Tank Davis, scared to fight. And then in the comment section, tell me why you think he's scared to fight him. Said so you guys do all this faking and calling out and all. Why do you guys think Javante Tank David will be scared to fight any of these guys? What can they do? I mean, I mean, really. So to me, the calling out is just nonsense, man. You got to stop all of the verbal and hollering and screaming and go to your um your manager, go to your um promoter and tell them make the fight, send the contract, you know. Um, who's my name? Ryan Garcia. Go to Golden Boy. Send Al Hamlin the contract. Send Mayweather for the promotion contract. Send Al Hamlin the contract. Or whoever Tank, Tank going to be with next, send him a contract. I ain't doing no more hard. Send him a contract. You know what I mean? Devin Haney. Lord, no, I don't even know who he with now. Go to Bob. <laughs> Go to Matchroom or whoever he's with. Man, I really want to fight Javante Davis. I ain't doing no more calling out. Write a contract up. Send it to Mayweather promotion. Send and send one to Al Heyman. We covering both sides of the grave. We we covering the front side. We covering the back side. We covering all sides. So he it will be no excuses. That's what you do. Lomachenko when he come from war, you know, pray for his family and all this stuff. When he come from war, send a contract. Go to Bob. Say Bob, I really want to fight Javante Davis. Let's send the contract. No, I don't know Harlem Soup. I know you, how you feel about Al Heyman and all this stuff. I'm not doing no hollering. Let's send the contract. Get the paperwork up, bind it, send one to Mayweather promotion. No, then send one to Al Heyman just to cover both sides. In case Mayweather say he didn't get one, we know we send one to Al Heyman. You know what I mean? So that's how we're going to start doing it, man. You know what I mean? Because the calling out is not getting nothing done. I'm telling you, it's just not. Look, what happened to Demetrius Andre? He went to the press conference and pressed Canelo Alvarez out. You no, know, did all the talking. What fight did he get? What fight did Andre get? So, you know, I understand this stuff make you guys happy. You know, it gives you more um stuff to talk about on the podcast and all this stuff, man. But it ain't resolving nothing. It's good stuff that we can use as content, as creators. But that's the only thing we can use it as, you know? All this, all the calling out and stuff, it just got to stop, man. It, it's just nonsense. It's just nonsense, especially if the fight's not happening. Name a real call out besides when um Laura called Canelo out and disrespected him. He got that fight. You know what I mean? He got that fight. And if you look at some of these other weight classes, you know I mean? how long these fights been yelling and screaming everybody else's name. You know what I mean? What did it get them? Is it getting them <laughs> anywhere? Is it get, did it get them to fight? I mean, let's go through history. If you go through history, how many call-outs um, on TV, you know what I mean, on YouTube, in person, how many call-outs that these fighters did to other fighters got actually got them to fight? Come on, let's thank people. How many call-outs that actually got these fighters to fight? You know, I know we're in a different age, different time, stuff like that, man. But if you see it ain't work, then <laughs> why do you think it's going to work now when you got Javante Davis who don't pay nobody any mind? You know what I mean? He can care less about you calling them out. You know what I mean? When it's time to fight, he's going to fight. But, you know, after this year, he, you know, he, he'd be by himself. You know, he ain't, he ain't under no brand. You know what I mean? He can sign one. Two, three fight deals if you want to. I mean, and then when he goes to that, hopefully he'll come to your promoter. You know what I mean? Then you can really get some action in it. But until then, stop the capping. Stop the madness. It's not going to happen. 
You know what I mean? The man is too quiet to be calling everybody out and going to maybe I'm quite sure I and I can bet I can bet thousands of dollars that he went to Mayweather quietly and told him why you ain't giving me the fights. I want these fights, stuff like that. But y'all want to hear him say it. I want these fights. Man, not in America, Jack. That stuff ain't happened in the past. So it really ain't gonna happen now, man. So that's what I got to say about it. You guys don't like it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Tell a friend, tell a friend, man, and um, I'll be at you and uh, be at it with another video coming up. You know what I mean? We're going live tonight at 8 30. You know, check the um check the comment section and all the things we got. You know, we got we sponsored by Bat US, joined members on the Vibuttle Entertainment, is just doing the daggone thing, man. So uh I'll talk to you guys later. Peace and blessings, everybody.